Good morning, Fisa. I'm Jacob. And I'm Tyler, and we're here with your morning announcements. Community Financial Credit Union will be on campus this month. They will be at Salem on Friday. Stop in and learn about what the credit union can do for you. Congratulations to the following culinary students who won their category of the state competition and will be moving on to the national level in Atlanta in June. Madeline White, Restaurant Service, who will also, be, who will also compete in the National Management slash Restaurant Design Competition in Baltimore. And Charlie Savage from Culinary. Congratulations. Every two seconds in the U.S., so you, someone needs blood. You can do your part to help by donating blood here at school. The blood drive will be in the Cannes Theater on May 15th, and all donors must register in advance. If you would like to donate or volunteer to help, please collect a permission slip in the Plymouth General Office. If you are under 18, you must have a signed permission slip and return it during lunches to Mr. Vera Burgos's room in P109A. It will take around an hour for the full process of donating your blood. Attention all PHS sophomores. The next class of 2026 council meeting is April 18th at 2.30 p.m. in PHS room 220C. All Plymouth sophomores are welcome to attend. Attention all Plymouth freshmen. The next class of 2027 council meeting is April 19th at 2.30 in PHS room 220C. All Plymouth freshmen are welcome to attend. The Plymouth class of 2025 is selling Cats Gotta Eat t-shirts until May 1st. Shirts are $18.99 and all shirt purchases enter you into a raffle for gift cards. Show your school spirit, get your t-shirt, and take a chance at winning a great prize. The Gafield Photography and Digital Art Awards are back again. This contest is open to all PCCS high school students. If you've got an incredible photo or created a great piece of digital art, why not enter the Gafield Awards and try to win a little cash? There are three categories, black and white photography, color photography, and digital art. And there are cash prizes for first, second, and third place. The last day to enter is April 30th. Look for flyers around the school to get a QR code to enter or ask any art teachers for details. Tickets for Anything Goes are on sale and selling fast. You can buy them at the door for $15 or online at pptc.booktix.net for $12. There are two shows remaining, Friday and Saturday this week. Show starts at 7 p.m. in the Gloria Logan Auditorium in Salem High School. This is a fantastic show that you will thoroughly enjoy. The music is a blast and the cast is phenomenal. Hope to see you there. Monday, April 29th, the Canton Cafeteria will be hosting a trivia competition from 2.40 to 3.40. Come test your knowledge and complete, compete for a $25 Amazon gift card. The trivia questions cover topics related to computers. An entrance fee of $3 will go towards SITS, a nonprofit that takes in old advices and makes them new again, and donates refurbished computers to organizations or households that don't have access to such technology. If you have any unused computers, components, or peripherals lying around your house, consider donating to Student Information Technology Services by dropping off unused technology in Canton Room CV26. Snacks and drinks will be available for purchase during the event, including fruit snacks, chips, juice boxes, and candy. The grand prize for the trivia winner is a $25 Amazon gift card. So brush up on your trivia skills and come complete. compete. That's all for your announcements, Peace Up. Have a nice day. Good morning, PSAP. I'm Angel here with your news bit. When you drive in your neighborhood, you probably should keep your eyes open, just in case someone's dog or cat darts in front of your car. Imagine what the residents of Butel, Montana thought on Tuesday when an elephant roamed the streets for 20 minutes. Elephants are not native to Butte, Montana. The elephant escaped from a traveling circus. NBC Montana reported that the elephant named Viola escaped from a traveling circus called Jordan World Circus when she was spooked by the sound of a vehicle. Viola was getting a bath at the time, the station said. The elephant was walking in the street for a block or two, but was then loaded into a trailer by circus staff. This is why it's important to keep your eyes on the road at all times. That's all for your news bit, PSAP. Have a great day. Good morning, PSAP. I'm Abby here with your sports. 
The Detroit Red Wings won their game in an overtime shootout, 5-4, against the Montreal Canadiens. But sadly, the Detroit Red Wings are not advancing to the playoffs. The Washington Capitals were able to win against the Philadelphia Flyers 2-1, taking the second wild card for the playoffs and eliminating the Red Wings. In baseball, the Detroit Tigers won against the Rangers 4-2 and are playing against the Rangers again today at 110. On Monday, the WNBA draft took place in New York, with big prospects like Caitlin Clark being the number one pick for Indiana Fever, Angel Reese being the number seven pick for Chicago Sky, Kate Martin being a surprising pick with the, being the number 18 pick by the Las Vegas Aces and more. In school sports, Plymouth and Canton boys varsity baseball compete against each other at 4.30. Canton and Salem girls varsity soccer go head to head at seven, and both Canton boys and girls lacrosse teams have their respective games at seven. That's all for your sports piece up, have a good day. Good morning, Peace Up. Today will be cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 48. That's all for your weather, Peace Up. Have a good day. Good morning, Peace Up. I'm Jackson, and I'm here with the cast of Anything Goes. Can you guys please introduce yourselves and the character you're portraying? I'm Mia Casada, and I play Reno Sweeney. I'm Cameron Smith, and I play Billy Crocker. I'm Naveen DeRoches, and I play Hope Harcourt. And I'm Sammy Garbea, and I play Lord Evelyn Oakley. Can you guys, uh, or can you tell me about uh, Anything Goes? Yeah, sure. Um, it follows the plot of a bunch of passengers um, on a boat in the 1930s. And essentially the plot is there's this young debutante and she's engaged to be married to help her family's fortune. But there's a guy who's in love with her and he stows away on the ship and enlists the help of like a gangster and a nightclub singer and comedy disguises, chaos and zoos. And then it's like a little romance story. <laughs> How was the opening night? Opening night was really good. It's always fun to see the whole show come together on opening night. We had a pretty good turnout, and it was a lot of fun. Why is this a must-see show? Uh, there's a lot of reasons. Um, first off, the, the amount of dedication that everybody's put in. The actors, the people building the sets, the people behind the stage working with our props, and the pit. We wouldn't have music without them. Uh, there's just so much that goes into it, and it's just you know the biggest show of the year. It's got the most people in it, and just everything. It's great. Uh, and when is the next showing? The next showing is this weekend, um, April 19th and April 20th, 7 p.m., for $12 online and $15 at the door in the Salem Auditorium. That's all, Pisa. Make sure to go check out Anything Goes. for 10 years. My name's Ava and I've been playing lacrosse for 10 years. I'm Val and I've been playing lacrosse for about four years. Throughout the season what keeps me motivated is my teammates like just being better like for them. I also just like love the sport of lacrosse. Like as a senior I think it's easy to stay motivated because like it's my last time like playing. My friends, teammates, we all kind of keep each other motivated throughout the season. Um, I would say the team and everyone I play with. Our pregame rituals are just warming up, getting to the field an hour early, you know, getting hyped for our game. Typically, me and one of the other girls on the team will go to a CVS or a gas station store and get an orange monster and listen to music on the way to the game. Like, any freshman that might be too scared to join the team, um, you should definitely do it. Like, our team is so welcoming. Um, we have a really good culture. Um, we're just like a big family, like JV, varsity, like whatever you are, like it's not just like two teams, like we're one team together, so. Good morning, Precept. I'm Johnny here with your pet of the day. This is Minu. She is two years old, has golden eyes and silky smooth fur. Minu loves to get lots of pets as well as chasing things. Want to see your pet in the announcements? Submit a photo of your pet with a brief description to petsofprecept at gmail.com.
trade winds blow You don't have to face it on your own Thank you.